नमस्ते सब जाना मचल मेपाली वुमेन इन कंप्यूटिंग को भाइस नेपाली वुमेन इन कंप्यूटिंग को भाइस प्रेसिडेंट हो सो आई लाइक टू वेलकम एवरी वन टू देशन एंड थैंक यू सो मच फर पार्टिसिपेटिंग यू नो इट जस्ट इनकरेज अस टू कंडक्ट सेशन लाइक दिस एवरी मंथ अीपल इन नेपाल थैंक यू फर स्टार्टिंग योर सैटरडे विथ अस अइक वाइज पीपल इन दूएस थैंक यू फर स्पेन्डिंग योर फ्राइडे विथ अस um so yeah we are nepali women in computing um officially started in 2020 um so uh, thank you to everyone who have supported us till now um so we are a group of men and women uh, who have uh, you know like was focused to uh, encourage and support uh, nepali women in tech so hamro yo nwic educate session se Uh, so it's not just about computing actually we've not done any computing uh, session till now uh, so we'll be discussing about social issues uh, which is there in nepal you know which are underrepresented and not much talked about and the nwic uh, educate shuru garnu ko main karan chai hami le awareness failaunu ho like hami yo kunai pani topics ma yo kunai pani issues ma we are not expert uh, we are learning and uh, we thought about sharing this uh, you know since we have this platform so we thought about sharing this with everyone and um, we are trying our best to provide resources and find someone who has relevant experiences on those topics uh so if you all are not aware about that hami le se first session uh, diversity and inclusion ma gareko thiem second se gender equality ani azo ko topic se will be around nepali women are unequal by law so hamro pahila ko session if you have missed it if you have not participated that time uh, we have youtube channel so you can you know like uh, go and watch the video and uh, we have social medias like we have twitter um, facebook instagram everything so you can follow us and see what we are doing um, so aza hami beats ma chai hamro speaker hununcha jaslina rana so this event is a collaboration with nepali feminist um, so thank you jaslina out of your busy schedule uh, schedule you you accepted our request and uh, so talking about jaslina she is the human rights lawyer Uh, founder of social media advocacy page nepali feminist uh, as well as she's the co-founder of uh, social enterprise back to go i i think you must have heard about this and uh, jaslina's area of interest and experience um, uh, includes uh, feminism human rights and laws so without any delay i would like to invite jaslina um, so yeah the floor is yours jaslina Thank you so much, Archul, and thank you to the entire <coughs> Nepali Women in Computing team for having me. Namaste, sabey zana lai. Ma adi wakta Jaisalina Rana. Ma chay agi Archul le bani sabko dosto yota samajik sanjal ma afno Nepali feminist bani page bani prayog prayog gorthur tes bata chay ni advocacy ko kura aru bani gorna maile du yajar sathra dikin suru gori kuchu. Ra saath saath hai du yajar अठारह में चाहिए नहीं आपको पढ़ाई को पढ़ाई सके आई सके फिर आई सके चाहिए मैं ये पैटुगो भोशल एंटरप्राइज भी सुरू कर हमें चाहिए वी वर द फर्स्ट नेपाल में सैंट्री नैपकिन वेन्डिंग मशीन्स इंस्टल कर पैटुगो को अलग काम चल रखे हमी सातवटा प्रदेश में ओवर दुई सौवटा मशीन्स इम्प्लिमेंट कर सकता छो रसी सेंसन्स मेन्स्ट्रल हेल्थ को बारे में काम कर भन्दा भन्द आई थिंक वी सुड जस्ट मूव अहेड विद द सेशन जस्ट टू गिव अ स्मॉल ब्रीफ बैकग्राउंड अफ व्हाट वी प्लान टू डू आज सो नेपाली वुमेन इन कंप्यूटिंग रिस्ट आउट टू मी इन टर्म्स अफ लॉज को बारे चाहिए हम में के भैर मोर लेस नया प्रपोजल्स भाई एक्जिस्टिंग लज हर कौन छ जस्ट टू क्लारिफाई अस्त आयोग जो मोबिलिटी को इश्यू को लई वुल मोबिलिटी को इश्यू को प्रपोजल वी कैन टच अपन इट बट हमें तो मत मध्यनजर राखी चाहिए यह प्रोग्राम हमें चाहिए अलग जो एक्जिस्टिंग लज जिससे चाहिए महिला अधिकार उल्लंघन कर हनन कर हम छलफल के भैर हम इलेक्टेड लीडर्स इसको बारे के प्लस अलग हिस्टोरिकल पर्सपेक्टिव आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग क्योंकि 
जो अलग यो अस्त मोबिलिटी को इश्यू में हेन जो प्रपोजल आयोग थी डिपर्टमेंट अफ इम डिपर्टमेंट अफ इमिग्रेशन धेरे मानी अंडरस्टैंडिंग नया खाल रिस्ट्रिक्शन आने लगे भाई जो क्या थे तर अन्फर्चुनेटली यो खाल रिस्ट्रिक्शन यो खाल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन का तर्फब भेदभाव चाहिए पैल्य देखि राम संविधान में भेदभाव छुरा चाह आज म यहाँसंग यहाँ मधे प्रस्तुति कर गई रह मेरे भाषा चाहिए दुबई नेपाली अंग्रेजी दुबई में करना चाहूँ रे जो नेपाली में करना चाहे कुछ लीगल टर्मिनोलॉजीज इजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग को इंग्लिश नेपाली दुबई में मई विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन दैट आई थिंक पी डिड सेंड अ क्रस सम रिडिंग्स मैं तीन चार वा रिडिंग्स वुमेन एंड कंप्यूटिंग पठाई को थे वहाँ तब पठाओ भू रही अनुसार नहीं आई वुड लाइक टू मूव अहेड सो हम जो सीटिजनशिप इश्यू को आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिफली फोकस अन दैट नागरिकता विहीन भूरा जो तबरजान सुन्नभक हो नागरिकता विहीन के हो नागरिकता बिना कसैल में आपको जीवन बिताओं सकद रहे कि हो कान को नागरिकता छेन कें छन भूरा आई एम अज्यूमिंग एवरी वन हू इज यर हू इज यर एंड इज अपी सीटिजन हेज अ नागरिकता सोह वर्ष कटे चाह हम का हमें आपको नागरिकता लिख दिशन एट सीटिजनशिप लिख द र नागरिकता चाहिए यो ए महत्वपूर्ण डकुमेंट हो एटा कागज हो जिससे चाहिए हर एक नेपाली एकजना नेपाली व्यक्ति को हर एक जीवन को हर एक स्तर में चाह इसको प्रभाव पर्च फर एक्जापल तब बैंक अकाउंट खोल पे नागरिकता चाहिए तब लाइसेंस लिख पर्ने पर्यटन भी नागरिकता चाहिए जब एप्लीकेशन को अलग तो हम नागरिकता क्लास टेन को एसएलसी लिना चाहिए है सो हम नागरिकता न भे चाहिए हमें कति मं कति व्यक्ति समस्या हो रे कस्त समस्या हो रहा चाहिए यो इश्यूज आई रखे हे चाहिए एफ डब्ल्यू एलडी ले दुई हजार अठारह में एटा सर्ट सर्वे जिसमें चाहिए वन फोर्थ अफ द पपुलेसन अब द एज अफ सिक्सटीन डू नट हेव सीटिजनशिप अभी यो जो एफ डब्ल्यू एलडी को पब्लिकेशन थे इट वॉज कोबरेटेड बाई टू थाउज एटीन को यूएस स्टेट डिपर्टमेंट को कंट्री रिपोर्ट अन द ह्यूमन राइट्स अफ नेपाल यूएस स्टेट डिपर्टमेंट ने भी एटा अनुसंधान थी रेस में चाहिए वन फोर्थ अफ द पपुलेसन अब द एज अफ सिक्सटीन आर स्टेटलेस बट अन्फर्चुनेटली में चाहिए स्टेटलेस या कस को तब को जो आइडेन्टिटी हो स्टेटलेस एक्सेप्ट क्यों हम संविधान में जानू संविधान को आर्टिकल टेन ने चाहिए नो पर्सन विल बी ईच पर्सन विल हेव विल हेव द राइट टू हेव सीटिजनशिप अफ नेपाल भार्ट टू अफ द कन्स्टिट्यूशन अफ नेपाल बट अन्फर्चुनेटली ये इश्यू कें आई रख वाई इज इट प्रिवेलिंग वाई आर पीपल स्टेटलेस भूरा चाहिए अलग इसको हिस्टोरिकल इंप्लिकेशन्स हे चाहिए यहाँ अलग इसको जानकारी हो वुमेन को राइट्स को बारे ये सीटिजनशिप में आमा ने आपको नागरिकता आमा को नाम में नपा मिलने भाई कुछ तर यह दुई हजार पंद्रह को संविधान में आये कुरा मत हो नाइन्टीन फिफ्टी टू देखि जब राणा शासन चाहिए ओवरथ्रो गयो राणा काल सीध्य नाइन्टीन फिफ्टी टू में जब डेमोक्रेसी को पल आई थे ते बेला चाहिए फर्स्ट सीटिजनशिप एक्ट वाले थोड़े सरी इट वॉज फेयरली लिबरल एक्ट यो 1952 को सीटिजनशिप एक्ट में चाहिए यू कुड गेट अ सीटिजनशिप तब को आमा को नाम में या बुआ को नाम में प्रोवाइ ऑल तब पर्मनेंट रेजिडेंट नेपाल यू कुड इजिली गेट अ सीटिजनशिप सर्टिफिकेट ते पच्चीस चाहिए नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री में जब पंचायत रेजिम आयो नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री में पंचायत रेजिम आई सके चाहिए यह नाइन्टीन फिफ्टी टू को एक्ट लटाइए रेस पच्चीस को चाहिए जो कंस्टिट्यूशन रो एक्ट आक थी ते बेलास में चाहिए एकदम इंट्रेस्टिंगली के भो नाइन्टीन फिफ्टी टू को एक्ट लाइन सिक्सटी थ्री को जो ऐन थी तेल चाहिए दुई दुईटा कुरा गयो एटा चाहिए आमा को नाम में है बुआ को नाम में चाहिए तब नागरिकता लिख मिलने सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट वाल हम चाहे दुई खाल सीटिजनशिप छिवेलिंग सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट एंड नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप सो जो सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट तब को जो नेपाली भेक अधिकार पाने जो नागरिकता थी तेरा चाहिए बुआ को नाम बट मत पा मिलने भाई नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री को पंचायत रेजिम में आयो रो मत हो नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री को पंचायत रेजिम में चाहिए मधेशी 
मधेशी व्यक्ति को एकदम गाड़ो कुरा के आयो भाई बेला तबा सीटिजनशिप लिना को लगी आपको बुआ को नाम बट लिखो डेफिनेटली एट आई सके प्रोविजन अर्क चाहिए हो कि होना भाई प्रूफ करी शुद्ध बोलने सक सकू पर्ने रो प्रूफ भी करूर्ने भाई कुरा चाहिए आइए एंड दिस वॉज अ वेरी लार्जर एफर्ट में चाहिए यो एटा हिल नेपाली जो हम अंडरस्टैंडिंग द हिल नेपाली हिल अपर कास्ट नेपाली को चाहिएपन को ढाका टोपी लाने पर्ने नेपाली बोलने सकू पर्ने वेरी पेट्रियाल एंड अपर कास्ट बेस्ड आइडियोलॉजी अफ व्हाट इट इज व्हाट डज इट मीन टू बी नेपाली भाई कुरा चाहिए आयो सो यो हम नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्रीक एक्ट बट वी कैन सी टू थिंग्स एकदम प्रमिनेंटली पेट्रियाकी एंड कास्टिजम प्लेइंग अ वेरी वेरी क्रुशल रोल इन व्हाट इट मीन्स टू बी नेपाली सो नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री को जो सीटिजनशिप एक्ट आई सके द वॉज डेफिनेटली अ वेरी वेरी मेजर इन्फ्लुएंस जो हम अगर प्रिवेलिंग कंस्टिट्यूशन में छ हम इंटरम कंस्टिट्यूशन हम टू थाउजेंड सिक्स में हम द कंप्रिहेन्सिव पीस अकॉर्ड वॉज साइंड द कन्फ्लिक्ट कन्फ्लिक्ट केम टू एन एंड हम इंटरम कंस्टिट्यूशन आई सके इंटरम कंस्टिट्यूशन में चाहिए के भाई इंट्रेस्टिंगली यू कैन गेट अ सीटिजनशिप From your mother and father, बने रह बने, है ना? Mother and father बने सके पची, that means दुबई जाना को चाहियो. तेरे को लाइक चाहिए हमने है ना a lot of women rights activists के चाहिए है ना mother or father, आमा वाबुआ को चाहिए provision हालू पड़ियो, आमा रबुआ को हाले बने धेरे ने समस्या आउट सब बने रह बने. So there was a lot of lobbying. 2007 देखिए in time constitution देखिए around 10 years later 2015 मा almost 10 years later 2015 मा हमरो constitution आयो. um and there was a very uh, smart move played by those in power uh, to you know pacify hamro jun yo or terminology halnu parne bhanne kura chai ni mother or father chai ni hamle bhanyo tesko lagi hamle dherai nai um, you know especially women's rights activists social justice activists so yeah they were really really for the provision that mother or father ne chai ni constitution ma tyo hale na bhanne chai ni mail har ko jun adhikar cha aphno bachcha lai aphno nagrikta pass on garnu parne tyo hudai hunna bhanera so tesko lagi chai ni ekdamai garnu parcha kina bhane hamro mul kanun jun संविधान महिला भेदभाव गये व्हाट काइंड अफ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी यू नो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज इट भूरा आयो इंट्रेस्टिंगली द पोलिटिक्स बिहाइंड इट के भो दुई हजार पंद्रह को कन्स्टिट्यूशन आदा चाहिए मदर और फादर त आयो तर ते पच्ची को जो प्रोविजन्स तुम्हें पार्ट टू अफ द कन्स्टिट्यूशन डील्स विथ सीटिजनशिप आर्टिकल टेन रेवेन तुम्हें भाई इट्स सो इंट्रेस्टिंग हाउ दे हेव फ्रेम्ड इट क्योंकि मदर और फादर तो भाज भो मदर आमा वा बुआ नेपाली भयता भो तगरिकता पा सकूँ तर ते पच्ची को प्रोविजन्स में के राख्य तर नेपाली महिला ने एटा फरेन पुरुषसंग बिहा कर बच्चा पाइयो सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट पाऊदन लेखे है तबले इफ यू आर अपाली वुमन एंड इफ यू हेव मैरिड अ फरेन मैन तबले नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप मत दिन मिल्च नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप भाई कुरा में हेद नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप यो नागरिकता हो जो तब को अधिकार होना तो स्टेट को डिस्क्रेसन में पा सकूँ सो इट इज अपन द स्टेट टू से यस और नो टू गिव यू अ नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप तेस कारण हम जो अब नेपाली पुरुष ने चाहिए एटा फरेन महिला बिहा कर बच्चा पाए दैट दैट चाइल्ड विल गेट अ सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट तर नेपाली महिला ने चाहिए फरेन मैन लिहा कर या बच बिहा नगर या बच्चा पाओ दैट चाइल्ड विल गेट्स नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप लाइक आई मेन्शन इज नट अ राइट अफ दैट चाइल्ड तो स्टेट को डिस्क्रेसन में छन स्टेट ने जो सीडीओ कार्यालय या जहां भी हमें नागरिकता लीर जो हम स्टेट को बॉडीज में तेस में नो भी भन्न पाँच क्योंकि इट इज अ डिस्क्रेसनरी पावर अफ द स्टेट एंड इट इज नट अ राइट अफ द इंडिविजुअल टू गेट द नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप अर्क इंपोर्टेंट डिफ्रेंस चाहिए नेचुरलाइज सीटिजनशिप सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट को में होने Naturalized citizens are citizens who cannot hold positions of power. You cannot become the prime minister. You cannot become the president. You cannot become important heads of state. So naturalized citizen, bhane ko ta, you are a basic group ma here that the discriminatory ta cha. Kina bhane hamro. First thing, tapai ko zone adhikar aur usa citizenship by descent, naturalized citizenship sanga chaina. Arko zone major problem ayeko kio ta. 
तपाईलाई स्टेटले नै नो भनिसकेपछि यु विल बी विदाउट अ सिटिजनशिप हैन एन्ड मोस्ट अफ द टाइम्स दट इज व्हाट ह्यापनिंग दट इज व्हाट इज ह्यापनिंग हाम्रो कति जना चाहिँ नि आमा चाहिँ नि नेपाली छ तर बुवा चाहिँ नि फोरेन छ भने जाँदाखेरि चाहिँ नि सिटीओ कार्यालयहरुमा जाँदाखेरि चाहिँ नि हैन आमाको नम्बर किन पाउनु पर्यो नागरिकता तपाईको बुवा इन्डियन हो भने तपाईं इन्डियन नागरिकता लिनु इन्डियन पासपोर्ट लिनु बुवा अमेरिकन हो भने अमेरिकन पासपोर्ट लिनु किन आमाको नामबाट आउँछ भन्ने कुरा छ सो द कन्सेप्ट बिहाइन्ड इट बिइङ दैट आमा को नाम बट आउने जो ब्लड लाइन छ दैट इज नट एज इम्पोर्टेन्ट और दैट इज द नट द लिनिएज दैट इज गेटिंग पास डाउन भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ नि एउटा पेट्रियार्कल पेट्रियार्कल माइन्डसेटमा त छ तर ल बाट पनि कोडिफाई भइसकेपछि यस्तो कुरा चाहिँ नि आई थिंक इट रियली इन्टिग्रेट्स विदिन द सोसाइटी अफ व्हाट इट मिन्स टु बी नेपाली एन्ड हु यु गेट योर नेपालीनेस फ्रम Uh, so that was very interesting this but she definitely 2015 ko constitution i saw ke pachi chaini um another thing that is going around in terms of uh, a lot of activists is that hamro yo citizenship act pani cha you know to citizenship act chaini 2006 ma i saw ke ko thyo yo chaini it was your consultative process between the different different political parties ma consensus ma chaini yo 2006 ko act ayo uh 2006 ko act ma chai ni uh, what is interesting to see is that amro um, 2006 ko act so basically uh, for all those people who are not part of the law background so amro chai ni there is a constitution constitution ko provisions like implement karna chai ni amro legislation bata act haru bancha uh ya yeah, nepali ma bhanda chai ni ain haru bancha so your act le chai ni citizenship act le chai ni a lot of people are under the impression that amro your citizenship act amend gare ta garyo bhane chai ni nepali mahila haru ko yo nagrikta dina milne jun adhikar cha tyo chai ni um you know uh, it will be uh, validated bhanera but unfortunately what what is very interesting to see and what we need to also acknowledge is that citizenship act ma definitely ama ko naam bata naturalized citizenship dinu pare bhane chai ni ama ko naam bata citizenship dinu pare bhane chai ni khali naturalized citizenship dinu milcha bhanera likheko cha ra dherai jasto cdo karyalay ma gaye pachi chai ni haina tyo सिटिजनसिप ऐन चाहिए संशोधन भे सके तब नागरिकता पाने बट वट इज इंट्रेस्टिंग टू सी इज दैट हम कन्स्टिट्यूशन में चाहिए वेन वी रिड द कन्स्टिट्यूशन इफ यू डू रिड द कन्स्टिट्यूशन आर्टिकल वन अफ द कन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टेट्स एनी एक्ट विच इज इन भाइलेसन अफ द कन्स्टिट्यूशन विल बी भोइड कुनै ऐन जसले चाहिँ नि संविधानको व्यवस्थाहरूसँग मिल्दैन त्यो ऐन चाहिँ नि इट विल नट बी एप्लिकेबल त्यसलाई कार्यान्वयन गर्न मिल्दैन भनेर लेखेको छ नाउ अ लट अफ द पिपल अ लट अफ ल मेकर्स अनफर्चुनेटली अल्सो देयर इज कन्फ्युजन दैट यो ऐनलाई सिटिजनसिप एक्टलाई अमेन्ड गरेर नेचुरलाइज सिटिजनसिप मात्रै होइन सिटिजनसिप डिसेन्ट बाइ डिसेन्ट पनि दिन मिल्ने कुरालाई चाहिँ नि राख्यो भने यो ऐनमा विच इज अ सिम्पल प्रोसेस एउटा एक्ट लाई चाहिँ नि अमेन्ड गर्न इज अ मच सिम्पल प्रोसेस दैन कन्स्टिट्यूशनलाई अमेन्ड गर्न गर्न मिल्ने होइन तर व्हाट इज भेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट टू एक्नोलेज इज दैट द Act is not the one creating this discriminatory position. It is the Constitution, co Article Eleven. Uh, just to be clear about that, Eleven, co Five, Six, and Seven. Ma tapayli pornu pornu bhaya bani chaini. Eleven Two ma chaini yo mother or father ko citizenship ko kura rakhin sa mother or father bani ra. Just bachi Eleven ko sub provisions or ma sub articles or ma tapayli pornu bhaya bani chaini. It is not the Act which is actually creating the discrimination. It is the Constitution. So you, I'm not Nepali Maila ko chaini. Um, citizenship line nee. I'm le naturalized citizenship hai na. Citizenship by descent nee. Agari dinu pario bani kura chaini. I'm le online matre. संशोधन करें मिलते हैं क्योंकि ऐनलाइन संशोधन करे तापनी कोर्ट में ज्यादा ये केसेस कोर्ट में ज्यादा चाहिए संविधानसंग जुड़ी ते पीछे संविधान विल प्रिवेल ओवर द लॉ जिस कारण हम जो सीटिजनशिप बाई डिसेंट को हमें संविधानमें संशोधन कर कि हम ऐन में सो दैट इज वॉट इज भेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग बिकज हमें यु नो टू थाउज फिफ्टीन को कन्स्टिट्यूशन को कुरा करा स्पेशली अ लड अफ यु नो एक्टिविस्टरस दे विल टेल यू दैट टू थाउज फिफ्टीन को कन्स्टिट्यूशन इज नट द बेस्ट कन्स्टिट्यूशन जस्ट बिकज ए प्रोविजन हम फंडामेंटल राइट में चाहिए नहीं देर आर अ लड अफ इंपोर्टेंट प्रोविजन्स फर इक्जापल आई थिंक वी आर द ओन्ली कंट्री टू पुट राइट्स अफ विक्टम्स अफ क्राइम को कुरा राइट टू जस्टिस को कुरा राइट्स अफ वुमेन नहीं सेपरेट कैटेगरी एज विद इन द फंडामेंटल राइट चैप्टर फंडामेंटल राइट चैप्टर चाहिए इज पार्ट थ्री अफ द कन्स्टिट्यूशन 
तर हम चाहिए बेसिक सीटिजनशिप कुछ नहीं डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी छविधान को पोजिशन बा हाउ कैन वी कल इट द बेस्ट कंस्टिट्यूशन भाई आ सो वन इज दैट हम सीटिजनशिप इश्यू चाहिए ये भैर ते पच्छी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में चाहिए वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंगली दिस चाहिए पास भैन बट गेटिंग टू द अलग पोलिटिक्स अफ दैट वाई इज इट दैट यो सीटिजनशिप को इश्यू चाहिए यो कम्प्लिकेटेड वाई इज इट वाई हेज इट बीन पोलिटिशाइज सो मच कहीं आमा को नाम बड़ नागरिकता दिता के होने रहा चाहिए Sorry, when the when the uh, issues were being passed, definitely you know, 1963 ko kura dekhin aun sahi na. I mean, 1952 ma dekhin, that's which 1963 ma dekhin. Maile agi pane ko dosthe. 1963 ko jab you constitution ra oin ayo, na 1952 ko oin lai chani hota ayo. 1963 ma maile agi pane ko dosthe. What it means to be Nepali? Nepali huno ko kio? You know, dau rasural ra dhaka topi launu. Nepali bolna saknu. So isle chani it will. Take away, yeah. In it will filter out those people who are not Nepali. One era, one ko thiyo. Majorly looking at the disproportionate impact on Madhesi people. Now coming to that, um, I'm not twenty twenty. Much any last year, amid the COVID pandemic, amid all everything that was happening in the country, twenty twenty ma, the House Committee of the ruling party, um, uh, nine male members, nine male members, hey, they sat on a House Committee and decided. That any foreign woman marrying a man needs to have seven years of residence to get a citizenship of Nepal, you know, and that was very interesting, and that in fact created a divide between the feminist movement also, especially amongst uh, hill. फेमिनिस्ट एंड मधेसी फेमिनिस्ट है के भाई अब यो नेपाली कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी को चाहिए नौवटा पुरुष हाउस कमिटी में बसर चाहिए के निर्णय गये तो अब चाहिए हमें के प्रपोज कर फरेन महिला चाहिए पुरुषसंग बिहा करे चाहिए वहाँ चाहिए सात वर्षसम नेपाल बस्पर्यो ते पच्छी मत नागरिकता पा मिले And that was very interesting. You know, I mean, isn't it? Any disproportionate impact? Any Madhesi women, ma'am, boy, because because of the open borders, there's a lot of inter-country marriage happening between Nepal and uh, Nepal ko Madhesi community, as well as India ko bordering uh, states like Uttar Pradesh. Hamro this ma'am, any ki dekhiyo ta? They suggested yota kura cha ni ke bhayo bhane Nepali Communist Party kei mahila harle cha ni first of all they were they were they were um, uh, they were against the fact that yota committee which has only nine male members was trying to take a decision on women bhanera tyo yota bhayo arko cha ni Ram Bahadur Thapa who was the home minister वहाँ बट सॉरी Ram Bahadur Thapa cha ni wahan bata ke aayo ta statement bhanda When everyone started discussing about Islam, it's any modesty uh, women could it's any um, rights or like, it may impact courts or any kura match in human rights like impact courts or any kura match in ki ayo. He said, and I quote: "Security of state is more important than the rights of individuals involved in this issue." Bhanera. So your security of state could kura kaam bata ayo. Security of state could kura say kya bata ayo jab bata ni. And this is very linked to women passing on their citizenship issue also because a lot of the citizenship zone rights such that it has been um, molded around the fact that Nepali women are um, uh, you know. नेपाली वुमेन को चाहिए अटोनोमी छेन पावर छेन दे इंडियन मेन एस्पेसली विल डेफिनेटली कम टू नेपाल मैरी दिज नेपाली वुमेन एंड बच्चा पाई सके चाहिए नागरिकता दिशा को लैंड चाहिए खोजन सकता भाई कुछ चाहिए धेरे पोलिटिशियस में आई सकते हाई एंड दैट इज वेयर द नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री को प्रोविजन हेज अल्सो कम फ्रम द फैक्ट दैट देर इज इनसिक्योरिटी ऑन पार्ट अफ नेपाली पीपल एंड देयर लैंड एंड द फैक्ट दैट जिओ पोलिटिक्स ने चाहिए इंडिया ने चाहिए आँच कब्जा कर डेफिनेटली अभी नेपाल को चाहिए लैंड लिंकी महिला लिंक राम नागरिकता लिंक भाई कुछ चाहिए वॉज वेरी इंपोर्टेन्ट देन एंड इट इज स्टिल इंपोर्टेन्ट नाउ आफ्टर सो मेनी इयर्स सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी को जो प्रोविजन प्रपोज भो अन्फर्चुनेटली कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी को मेनी वुमेन पोलिटिशियस ने चाहिए द ओली रिजन दे सर्ट अफ यू नो वोइस्ड their concerns about this was any no what a purush le tani yo committee steer gari raheko cha yesma koi pani mahila chaina bhanera there were there were unfortunately women within the um uh, uh, committee within the party also saying that mo pahila 
नागरिक नेपाली नागरिक हूँ तेस पच्ची मात्रे महिला हूँ बने रहा है ना अंत इसलिए गौरतलब से एकदम ये उटा यो फैमिलीज मूवमेंट पर नहीं विभाजित पाया दोस्तों लाज समालाय चाहिए कि ना वने नेपाली महिला अर्ले 2015 को जून सभीनार आए सके पच्ची चाहिए यो नागरिकता को कु तो रो यो मध्य सी विमेन ने इंपैक्ट कौसरी गॉड्स और गॉन कौसरी इंपैक्ट करी गॉन सॉक्स यो प्रोविजन ले यो प्रपोजल ले रो इज इट इज इट अ गुड प्रपोजल इसलिए ह्यूमन राइट्स ले इंपैक्ट गॉड्स की गॉड देना बनने कुरा लाइट्स नहीं और लॉट ऑफ हिल यू नो एक्टिविस्ट वर वेरी वेरी नॉट इंक अन्य आमले को माइले योटा डॉक्यूमेंट में शेयर कराए थे तो पहले इसको बारे में चाहिए इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मध्यसी पर्सपेक्टिव टू बी टेकन इनटू अकाउंट especially a lot of Madhisi women have also written about it. इसलिए गौरतलब से नहीं हमने कोस्टो इम्पैक्ट होने सब बने रहा। तो अपने फॉर एग्जांपल जो प्रपोजल मार्च नहीं सात बार समार्च नहीं है हमरो तो अपने लाये उटा कार्ड दीन सा जस्ट लेट्स एंड तो अपने औरो यू कैन डू फाइनैंशियल ट्रांजैक्शंस यू कैन डू एवरीथिंग बने रहा बने India, but uh, especially the bordering communities are much. Any, um, I will share a few articles written by Modisi women themselves. Bordering communities, quote any of India, but of any Nagrita no passport no legal women or rooms, so Nagrita no legal women, so so. India, my Nagrita co provision, who no other card, so which is a residency card. This which you apply got it, top I could prove got it a passport pound, so you know. About Nepal, I saw kick pochi, it's any top of passport. Not everyone takes passports, especially in rural communities, you know. पासपोर्ट साइन न बने तबे को कुने फॉर्म ऑफ आईडेंटिफिकेशन साइन न बने तबे नेपाल नेपाल आऊं दा र नेपाली पुरुष ले बिया गरी सके पची साइनी तबे ले यो टा नागरिकता जो नेपाल को पाऊं नों थियो त्यो पाऊं नो भाई ना सात वर्षों सम्मत तबे को यू कैन नॉट हैव एक्सेस टू लैंड in your name because you are not a Nepali citizen. You cannot have businesses in your name because you are not a Nepali citizen. Um, they have said that yo yota card these are okay purchase and sappai gonna meal sub on it. But that yo zun card so this ko bari constitution ma this to khalko citizen this to khalko residency ko bari kurane chayna hayna. Although hamro zun constitution ma chayni um, the citizenship of women married to Nepali men will be decided as per federal law upon it upon it. त्यो भाई था पनी सात परसेंट सम्मान से नहीं अपनो योटा नागरिकता ना भाई सके पची योटा देश में बहुत से रो योटा सिटिजनशिप ना भाई सके पची से नहीं व्हाट अबाउट इश्यूज वेयर विमेन वांट टू डिवोर्स व्हाट अबाउट एलिमनी तो पहले ही डिवोर्स करी सके पची से नहीं इफ यू यू वांट सिक्योरिटी फॉर योर what is all that issue? Where is all that issue? And who is going to decide all that issue before implementing your card system? Uh, fortunately, oil some of you craft hands any party for China. Uh, uh, you committee lay discussion got error. Nine men discussed it and just uh, news make them a bombard for you. <coughs> So citizenship को issue माय हैर दैट्स आई नहीं हमने दो इचा कुरा साइन ही ऑयले burning issues one is definitely पहले देखिन भाई सके को योटा 1963 को पंचायत काल देखिन आई सके को जो योटा patriarchal and caste based lineage of men being passed down तो ऑयले को 2015 को constitution समते ही आए को देखे को तो हमने रा माय लोगी बने को दस्ते यो योटा ऑयले समसोधन करे रा मात्रे यो उसको यो समस्या साइन ही ये सॉल्व होने होने वाला था ही ना इसलिए तो नहीं हमले संविधान ने संसदन गौरव और गाड़ी बोर्ड में पड़ता है रोड 2020 में जो आया कुछ सम मधेसी महिला और कुलागी जो एकदम ही नकारात्मक प्रभाव होने जो प्रोविजन्स हो तो इसको बारे पनी यार ले पढ़ने भाई उन सब तो अनफॉर्च्युनेटली ऑयल सम पारित भाई so I think citizenship को issue मार्च आई नहीं तेरी नहीं हो तो पे अलग और और उके थॉप स्टैंड करी साइयो बने आचल शुरू ही दो अ क्वेश्चन आंसर राइट नाउ और मे बी वन और टू क्वेश्चंस राइट नाउ एंड देन जनरल क्वेश्चंस लेटर या आई मीन आई कैन आस्क लाइक इफ एनीवन हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस यू नो अबाउट सिटिजनशिप लॉज uh, or else, like we can do, like after her presentation is done, then you can like have questions and ask. Uh, okay. So yeah, if anyone has any questions, just just feel free to uh, you know turn on your video on mute and ask. Also, if there are any questions, a uh, program ko beats ma pani topeli chat malik no boy I can address it after I sort of finish my uh, finish the program. 
uh if there are no questions i'd like I to something yeah, I... <laughs> um sorry my last night maybe i just missed what you said because it seems like a lot of back and forth that oil eco current secure is it still amar or bau butter or they've changed it again oil eco ticket is standing yes it is uh ama or bua Uh, mother or father, but oil eco constitution ma pani is the same issue that mother or father bhaya ta pani to provision. This but there are so many sub provisions to it, which mm-hmm. clearly state that if your mother is a foreigner, so the only time mother or father is actually applicable is both your mother and father are both Nepalis. Then you can get your citizenship from the mother ko name, but even then. बुआ को नाम नखुआने प्रोजन चाहिए एप्लीकेबल क्योंकि वेन यू डू गो टू द सीडीओ कार्यालय अभी बुआ को होने चाहिए दे आर सर्ट अफ आस्किंग अला चाहिए अनादर प्क्टिस वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंगली हम नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी थ्री में चाहिए बादी कम्युनिटी भाई इज अ कम्युनिटी अफ दलित वुमेन हु हेव बीन हिस्टोरिकली पुस्ट टुवर्ड्स सेक्स वर्क and a lot of them are still practicing sex work aile pani as a result of that uh, 1963 constitution pachi chani and 1963 ko us citizenship act pachi chani the badi community ko women had taken a case to the supreme court stating that hum log hum as sex workers a lot of us don't know who the father of our child is and they should be given the citizenship irrespective of hum log bachcha ko bua ko naam chani na bhaye pani अति बेला सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने के डिसाइड करते थे तो फादर को जो नागरिकता में फादर मदर नेम हो फादर को नेम में चाहिए फादर अन आइडेन्टिफाइड भेजी बेला सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने सो नाउ द जेनरल प्क्टिस इज इट्स नट दैट यू डोट नीड टू शो हु योर हु द फादर इज तर मदर नेपाली भाई अब सीटिजनशिप में चाहिए फादर अन आइडेन्टिफाइड भेज इट्स नट दैट यू दे आर सेंग दैट यू डोट रिक्वायर द फादर को डिटेल्स एट अल दे विल just stated as unidentified or uh, not that they will not ask you father ko ho bhanera so that is another issue that people are trying to uh, sort of address kina bua bua ko naam kina ajay sodhnu paryo jaba ki nepali bua ko naam ma chai tapai le nagrikta lina janu bhayo bhane chai ni ama ko ho ya ama unidentified bhanera kahile pani sodhaina tyo mother unidentified bhanne kura chai chadai chaina so unfortunately uh, a supreme court decision which was in favor of the badi community so many years ago this they chai ni use garera aile arki context ma prayog वाला I have not given SLC because, like you said, SLC di na pani ali citizenship Chinese. They don't own land. They don't um, like the Chinese zati ma. They they have not nothing over it, justo. So very interestingly, we were um, the organization that I was working with. We had a bunch of uh, young people without citizenship coming to um, once, uh, coming to our uh, organization to help them. के भैर इफ यू डोन्ट हेव अ सीटिजनशिप सर्टिफिकेट बिकज योर फादर इज नट नेपाली के भैर भूरा में चाहिए व्हाट वी आर सीइंग इज द पीपल विद प्रिवलेज एंड एक्सेस टू पावर पीपल इन पावर एंड एक्सेस टू फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेस नागरिकता न भाई एसएलसी दी रह नागरिकता न भाई कलेज गई रह बिकज यू कैन सर्ट अफ पे योर वे थ्रू ओबियसली दिस इज नट फर एवरी वन बट देर आर पीपल हू हेव नट टेकन दी एसएलसी एक्जाम ड्यू टू लैक अफ नागरिकता I hope that clarifies it. Yeah, thank you. Uh yeah, if you guys have any questions you can ask or it uh, or else uh, just Lena you can start with the like other topic. All right, thank you. So rape ko ma chani rape laws ko bare chani um 
I thought we would move out, move ahead with it in two aspects. I think because uh, your tata zone general rape law critique by that so online pani, for example, um, uh, you know, men to men rape not being addressed, um, just the gender gender issue of the gender neutrality of the rape law, uh, statute of limitation, kukuratsa, which I will come a little further down the road. Uh, but before that, Tanya, I would like to address your the main um, important rape ko uh, pani, the main important issue which is getting very overlooked. Your Tanya conflict conflict era rape. Yeah, conflict ko time ma jun rape hoy ko thiyo. Tithi bela ko Tanya rape ko issues haru. Who has addressed it? What are the laws that are sort of uh, used to address it? Address hoy ko chaki chai na bani kura pani na. So conflict. When the conflict was taking place, there was a lot of sexual violence uh, from the uh, Maoist side as well as from the security forces side. A lot of the rape cases that were reported, under-reporting to bhoi ke tiyo. Tara zun rape cases any report bhoi ko cha, limelight na aiso ke ko cha, rape, torture and killing of women ko chai the most biggest reason for rape any uh, that you know sort of was rape was used as a as a tool of war uh, you know people within the transitional justice movement talk about rape lights and you're a tool of war you know how did how were they able to use rape as a tool of war on that any a lot of the times the security forces let any women are like um, you know uh, women are like any you are probably associated with the Mao side Maowadi sang about the boy ko give us information give us uh you know give us details about it when they would deny it there was a lot of rape scene like that and same from the maoist side as well uh, a lot of the women if you do read testimonies of women combatants what is interesting to see is that uh your conflict era code situation matsani a lot of women raised arms and a lot of women were also combatants and part of the conflict um you know part of the revolution and they were part of the maoist uh uprising because they thought that Yo hamro jun um uh, democracy le aunu parne matre kura hai na yo chani yo rapitri satta ya patriarchy lai pani hamle nashta garna parne kura ho ra hamle chani yo yo process ma gayam bhane chani we will decrease uh, violence against women we will decrease rape parne kura haru chain they had uh, there was testimonies about that but once they entered even within the maoist force chani a lot of women combatants or like rape gare ko dekhin chau so this part of Chinese, after um, the 2006 ma mali agi bani ko the 2006 ma Chinese, our comprehensive peace accord signed by the conflict came to an end, and then the transitional justice uh, process started. Now in 2014, there were two mechanisms uh, in place: uh, Truth and Reconciliation Commission and the Commission on uh, in on enforced disappearance of people bani. Now both these commissions were supposed to look at conflict era crimes and address these as per human right standard 2014 Matthew Yotani. that was after almost uh eight years after the comprehensive peace accord was signed trc cied 2014 my register boys which there were 63,000 cases that were registered for serious human rights abuses out of which 300 signings pertain to sexual violence uh truth and reconciliation commission ma. so usually what happens is that transitional justice processes ma ya kunai pani um country ma zaba yota uh End unsa, conflict end unsa. There is a transitional justice process that needs to be established beyond the normal legal justice process because transitional justice process lets any conflict ma boy ko crimes or like importantly address karne or urgently address karna ko lagi. 300 rape, uh, 300 cases of sexual violence registered by TRC ma 2014 ma. And a lot of people were in the hopes that, you know, is they got that tiny amro um, issues or it will get addressed on her. Then very interestingly, what happened was that the Jun Transitional Justice Co law came about. This much any above, for example, other countries school laws or mapani here bani. Um your transition justice mechanisms matani giving amnesty to certain people is something that is uh, done in a lot of situations not grave human rights crimes but for example uh, if you have picked up arms and now you say more about mo mero bandhu garu sabai hatyar haru tala rakhchu tara maile gareko crimes har ma chai ni malai amnesty deu mo es pachi gardina bhanne chai ni it is a step taken by many countries to make sure the transitional justice process moves fast and uh, moves ahead now you very interestingly amnesty 
जो एमनेस्टी दिने प्रोविजन छाइन सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस को एमनेस्टी दिने वाले चाहिए ल में लेखियो जब यह ल आयो आफ्टर द थ्री हंड्रेड केसेस वोर रेजिस्टर्ड एंड जो ल में आई सके चाह जो जिस क्राइम्स कमिट कर सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस को क्राइम्स अ लट अफ इट कमिटेड बाय पीपल इन पावर पीपल इन पावर अफ बोथ द माओ साइड एंड द सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस वहाँ चाहिए सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस को एमनेस्टी दिने वाले ल आयो एंड दिस वॉज वेरी सकिंग टू द फेमिस्ट यू नो मुंट दिस वॉज सकिंग टू ह्यूमन राइट्स मुंट बिकज सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस जो क्राइम सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस एंड टर्चर जो ग्रेव क्राइम में चाहिए हमें कसरी वी कैन गिव एमनेस्टी वेन नेपाल इट सेल्फ हेज साइड सो मेनी डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिगार्डिंग इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमेनिटेरियन ल द ल दैट गवर्न्स कंफ्लिक्ट एर सीचुएसन्स जिसमें चाहिए रेप को लगी एमनेस्टी दिन मिलते हैं रेप इज अ सीरियस ह्यूमन राइट्स ऑफ फेन्स जेनिवा कन्वेन्शन सी डॉ अल दिज इश्यूज कसरी हमें वी हेव सो मेनी इंटरनेशनल ऑब्लिगेशन हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू यू नो मुव मुव अवे फ्रम आर इंटरनेशनल ऑब्लिगेशन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन में चाह रेजिस्टर भो इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट अफ नेपाल ने बेला वेरी पोजिटिव डिशीजन दे सैट दैट There will be no amnesty given to sexual violence perpetrators. They will have to face uh, the letter of the law, and they will have to serve punishment as per the law. One another, and the decision I two thousand fifteen, ma'am. Iti dere samay goy so kyo every year uh, there is discussion about you know uh, sexual violence survivors or kolagi chaini. We need to provide a uh, justice one another. Twenty sixth April twenty twenty when. so many things are happening when uh nirbhay ha- uh, sorry not nirbhay when uh the rape cases of nepal had happened when uh nirmala ko case had happened after even after all that after sexual violence ko issues haru taking place so much and not being addressed and impunity on the rise 2020 26 april 2020 ma the government took another case to the court to overturn the 2015 ko supreme court ko decision which said um uh, sexual violence like any amnesty dinu mildaina bhanera the government said that hoy na amnesty dinu parcha ro 2015 ko jun supreme court ko decision like any hami overturn garnu parcha bhanera chai ni 26 april 2020 ma they took a case thankfully the supreme court said no we are going to stick with our decision sexual violence will not be given amnesty and they will have to face the letter of the law on it uh, so that was a very positive step now in terms of why sexual violence survivors of conflict era crime have still not received um uh, justice on nikura ma chine few issues come so when the conflict era when the conflict was going on teti bela chani statute of limitation uh, ya lay person language ma bhanda chani uh, statute of limitation means the number of days that that the law gives you uh, to file a case you know rape ko lagi chani statute of limitation arthat nepali ma bhanda chani hadmyat 35 days thyo teti bela so if you if a man rapes a woman you had 35 days to file a case 35 days को टाइम लिमिट में तब फाइल कर नष्ट हो रे विल बी नो पीनल इम्प्लिकेशन अन द पर्सन अन द पर्पट्रेटर तो थर्टी फाइव डेज को इश्यू आयो आफ्टर तो थर्टी फाइव डेज को इश्यू आई सके चाहिए वॉज अ लट अफ लबिंग फाइनली थर्टी फाइव डेज लिक्स मंथ गयो रेस पच्चीस टू थाउजेंड सेवेन्टीन में चाहिए हम क्रिमिनल कोड रिविल कोड नया आक हम मूलुकी ऐन जो राना शासन बट जो मूलुकी ऐन थी सीविल कोड तेज अभी विभाजित कर क्रिमिनल कोड रिविल कोड वाल आई सकते टू थाउजेंड सेवेन्टीन में टू थाउजेंड सेवेन्टीन को दुटा कुरा गयो एटा चाहिए वन इयर स्टैच्यूट अफ लिमिटेशन फर एनी रेप केस बट अनफर्चुनेटली द टू थाउजेंड सेवेन्टीन को क्रिमिनल कोड हेज नट एड्रेस्ड कन्फ्लिक्ट एर रेप के होने सो व्हाट अबाउट द वुमेन हू हेड टू हू आर सर्वाइवर्स अफ कन्फ्लिक्ट एर रेप वहाँ को तो बेला थर्टी फाइव डेज को हदम्याद थे पीछे छ महीना को हदम्याद भो अ एक वर्ष को हदम्याद भो तो सीचुएसन भलमोस्ट कू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन भैस टू थाउजेंड छ देखि है All these years have passed. There is no justice. How is this addressing the need of the survivors of conflict era rape? Ponera, yota thiyo ayo. The 
statute of limitations any is a political issue right now not just because oily ko rape cases like any we need to look into account whatever but it is a political situation because a lot of people in positions of power will be implicated if the statute of limitation is removed and that is the reason why astitetro rape law ko amend garne bela chai statute of limitation ko chai amend garnu parcha bhanda bhandai pani yo statute of limitation lai hataena even though international community le chai hatauna nai parcha bhandai bhanda bhandai pani hataeko chaina because the politics behind statute of limitation is not just aile ko jun rape cases bhai raheko cha ya ek dui barsha agadi ko rape cases bhayeko cha but rather the conflict era rape cases which will implicate a lot of people in the position of power so kyo cha yota arko chai ni because the criminal code and the civil code have not addressed uh, conflict era rape as a war crime or a crime against humanity this lai chai ni yota war crime ko nata le hereke chai na tesle garda chai ni hamro jun aile ko kanun cha tyo kanun le chai ni ke bancha bhane डेफिनेटली ट्रांजिशनल जस्टिस प्रोसेस तो दुई हजार चौदह में जो मैं अगि जस्ते दुईटा कमीशन बने ट्रांजिशनल जस्टिस या कन्फ्लिक्ट को टाइम में भग क्राइम्स एड्रेस कर एड्रेसिंग कुछ रिड्रेसल आयोग छेन प्लस इन फैक्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में तो नौ महीना को लगी बोथ द कमीशन डू नट हेव द कमीशन हेड and it has become such a politicized process ki namani zone party le jo to both the commissions were supposed to be ekdam uh, transparent and fair but unfortunately party ke manche haru chai ni to commissions ma gai raheko chha tesle garda party ko tapai kai party ko jun individuals haru conflict era crime ma uh, abaddh hunu hunthyo wahar lai kasari why why how will how was there a check and balance when the same people same people ko party are going to the commissions bhanne kura aayo Another kura that has come is the 300 cases of rape, uh, 300 cases of sexual violence, sorry, and other cases. Then, every time commissioner change voice, okay, but every time commission ko individuals or change voice, okay, but you have to anonymity ko kura ta aunde ayna because everyone has access to these cases. Everyone knows who the survivors are, despite them not wanting to reveal their identity. सो एट ट्रांसपेरेंसी को आयो ए अनोनमिटी मेन्टेन करने कुरा आयो रही कमिश्नर्स नई सके टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन देखि जो कमीशन एस्टाब्लिश भू थाउज ट्वेंटी वन समय मोर देन सिक्स इयर्स भैस टू थाउज ट्वेंटी वन समय चाहिए अड्रेस छे तो द सर्वाइवर्स स्टिल वॉन्ट जस्टिस सो हाउ डू वी गो फर जस्टिस भाई कुछ आयो सो देन यू विल टेक द नर्मल रूट द लीगल रूट लीगल रूट में के फिर लीगल रूट में तबले कुछ जाहरी दरखास्त या एफआईआर रेजिस्टर कर क्रिमिनल प्रोसिजर कोड को सेंसन फाइव ने चाहिए के भाज तुलिस में गए तब को यह दर्ता पर्च नाउ अ लट अफ वुमेन हमें यह कुछ बुझ्ता चाहिए इट्स नट जस्ट काठमंडू बट इट्स वुमेन अल ओवर द कंट्री स्मल स्मल पुलिस स्टेशन में गए आपको केस रेजिस्टर कर पर्ने so many of the individuals like i mentioned earlier you the perpetrators who are there conflict era ko crime ko it's not just within the maoist uh, maoist uh, cadre but it is also um, from the state security armed police forces nepal army a lot of cases from there tapaile if for example there is a person who is a survivor of conflict era rape and the perpetrator is someone from the armed police force or from the police force to pehle aile gaera police mai police ko viruddha yo ta police vyakti ko viruddha case file garnu pare bhane what is the likelihood that they will register the case bhane kura aayo haina so that is another legal hurdle that the that women from conflict era rape are actually facing yo ta the statute of limitation there is Absolutely no clarity of whether 35 days go applicable unsa, yeah, six months go applicable unsa, yeah, one year go. Even if all three are applicable, that means that they they cannot register their case. But because transitional justice process ma move gori move gori sakhe pachi chani, there needs to be a law which addresses conflict era crimes. There should be a clear understanding from the law itself. Um, uh, war crimes ko bitra chani, rape like costly hamni integrate karna sakhe ro. Waharu chani transitional justice process ma move gori pare bani chani cases chani register pachi sakhe. Tar every time uh, naya commissioner aisa ke pachi naya team aisa ke pachi political team aisa ke pachi hamro cases chani anonymous hunsa ki hunda ina the transparency sakhe chani na. भन्ने कुराहरु सो नाउ बिकज द डोमेस्टिक सिस्टम वाज फेलिंग फॉर कन्फ्लिक्ट एरा सर्वाइवर्स दे हैव गोन इंटरनेशनल लेभल सम्म यूएन ह्युमन राइट्स कमिटीले डिसिजन्स ओभर एन्ड ओभर दि सकेको छ फर एक्जामपल यु क्यान अल्सो लुक एट केसेस अफ फुलमति न्याय न्याय एन्ड पूर्णमाया लामा वहाँ को केसेस तबरले हेन भाई सेक्सुअल भाइलेंस को केसेस फुलमती न्याय को शी वाज शी वाज ओन्ली सो हर नेम हेज बीन चेंज फुलमती न्याय इज हर सुडोनिम 
she was only 14 when uh, she was taken to the barracks and uh, she, uh, and the Nepal army uh, personnel raped her uh, on account of uh, belonging to the Maoist side. Teti Bela Dekin Oile Samoa and Litani Afno case Lodi Ronu Boyakotsa, UN Human Rights Committee, but a decision Isa Kikotsa. Unfortunately, international decisions Matsain Kion, so they can recommend the state to take actions, but they cannot hold the state accountable uh, if actions are not taken. So, Trial International is an organization that is working very, very closely with this. So, you can look into that. Another interesting thing is uh, transitional justice mechanism, Maher, the sexual violence survivors Kotsaini. <clears throat> uh, comprehensive peace accord signed Gori Sokye Pachi there were interim relief packages or uh, state kotor for bata chayani compensation packages or uh, conflict era uh, war crimes to individuals or like families whose uh, you know uh, families whose um, members were killed during the conflict ko lai bhanera chayani interim relief package or IRP bhanera chayani state le nikale ko 2006 pachi ko comprehensive peace accord signed gare pachi it is so unfortunate your interim relief package means sexual violence survivors will not be included, Panera, they said. Why? Sexual violence survivors of conflict era crime were not given any compensation, were not given medical compensation, were not given um, uh, monetary compensation, nothing. IRP or interim relief, relief package is only for people who are conflict victims. Government could offer butter. Conflict victims, those, uh, and it defined it, those who are killed or injured as a consequence of use of force while acting as a combatant. So they, they said that the only people who are getting these relief packages will be the ones who are fighting in battle at that time and have been killed or injured not people especially women who uh, who have been through rape sexual violence and torture even within like let's say barrack during the war crime war that's any barrack pitra ya maoist ko hidings or pitra any rape ko situation torture ko situation they will not be seen as um conflict victims because they were not killed or injured uh or their rights were not um uh you know just their rights were not um uh restricted during combat any they were left completely out of the package so conflict era sexual violence survivors which is an issue within the transitional justice movement is getting so far left behind Namro 2006 they can 300 cases could have been easily addressed till now they could have been redressed till now justice could have been given but unfortunately it is not so it's not just the currently rape issues that it is not addressing it has completely ignored conflict era rape and sexual violence um not just that, transitional justice mechanism has been a major, major failure till date. Uh, no case has been addressed. And the state has also not given any form of compensation or allowance to conflict era survivors of <clears throat> rape and sexual violence. Uh, so I think, I hope I was able to clarify you conflict era rape Kobari. I thought it would <clears throat> it would be interesting to talk about because we forget there is a whole um, generation of women who have faced uh, sexual violence who are getting left out of this conversation. The transition justice mechanism is still a major, major failure. Um, any questions regarding the conflict era sexual violence survivors? Okay. Uh, Sorry. Uh, this is so informational. I really hadn't heard of a lot of it. Uh, if we were to read more, could we reach out to you after this to read more articles about it? Sure, I can send you. Um, so I can send you a few uh, trial code uh, write-ups. I think we had shared one. Uh, Nepali Women in Computing had shared one article, but I can send you more regarding it. Thank you so much. Uh, Coming now to the rape law, I feel like uh, there any in information going on, but I, I I still want to cover the rape law and very short my intimate partner violence because I think that is something that young women are letting it the impact on their ego. I'm not rape law, uh, uh, like I mentioned, I'm not 2017 months. <clears throat> criminal code or civil code io uh, if you want to read the criminal code and civil code um, I can send you English versions, Nepali versions, whatever you would like. Um, 
सो हम रेप को लज में तेरू भाई स्टार्टिंग अफ इसको अलग हिस्टोरिकल पर्सपेक्टिव बा आई थिंक इट्स भेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग टू सी हिस्टोरिकल पर्सपेक्टिव स्पेशली बिकज हमें चाहिए अलग को जो कानून एकदम रिस्ट्रिक्टिव डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी भर हमने चाहिए सब कानून को हिस्टोरिकल एंगल ट्रेस करते गये चाहिए यू कैन सी अ ट्रेंड अफ हाउ पेट्रिआर्की एंड कास्टिजम एंड क्लासिजम रियली प्ले इन टू क्रिएसन अफ दिज लज फ्रम द वेरी बिगिनिंग सो फर एक्जापल एटीन फिफ्टी फोर में जब राणा शासन को बेला चाहिए मूलक ऐन आयो ते बेला यस रेप वॉज क्रिमिनलाइज रेप वॉज एकदम नारो डेफिनेशन में चाहिए रेप विदउट सेक्स विद एनी इंटरकोर्स सेक्सुअल इंटरकोर्स विदउट कंसेंट इज रेप वाइन आयो वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंगली व्हाट वी सॉ वाज 1854 को जो जंगबहादुर को टाइम में जो ल आयो ते बेला चाहिए द पनिशमेंट अफ द प्रोपेट्रेटर पनिशमेंट गिवेन टू द प्रोपेट्रेटर वाज डिसाइडेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कास्ट ऑफ द सर्वाइवर सो इफ द सर्वाइवर वाज एन अपर कास्ट वुमेन द प्रोपेट्रेटर वुड गेट हायर पनिशमेंट द पर्सन हु हेज बीन हेल्ड गिल्टी अफ रेप वुड गेट हायर पनिशमेंट तर इफ द पर्सन वाज इफ द वुमेन वाज फ्रम अ लोअर कास्ट और लोअर कास्ट आई सी आई I quote me Kitten quotes lower caste, upper caste. If they were from a more marginalized caste, the perpetrator' co punishment would be lesser. And that is why it was like like we talk about it oily, for example, oily. That is why oily. That is why caste' co angle matthew oily. That is why punishment age co angle matthew, which I will come to it later. So we can see a very uh, direct. को रिनेसन न भे तापनी एटा ट्रेंड चाहिए हमने देखी रहे पैल्हे देखि एटीन फिफ्टी फोर में तो आयो वेन द फर्स्ट मुल्की ऐन वॉज कोडिफाइड ते पच्चीस नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी फोर में चाहिए नाइन्टीन फिफ्टी टू में द राना काल एंडेड नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी फोर नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी टू में चाहिए पंचायत रेजिम केम नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी फोर में मुलुकी ऐन लमेंड गयो Nineteen sixty-four, को मूल की ऐन में अमेंड कर दिया था नहीं. Punishment was uh, punishment as per caste was removed, so it no longer meant that meant that the uh, survivor को caste को अनुसार survivor को वर्ण को वर्ण को अनुसार था नहीं. Perpetrator ले punishment दी नहीं बनने को रहता है नहीं. Hot आई हो. तो नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी फोर को एक्ट में चाहिए सेक्स वर्कर्स चाहिए प्रोटेक्शन दिए थे सो इफ देर वॉज रेप अफ अ सेक्स वर्कर इन नाइन्टीन सिक्सटी फोर को अनुसार वुड बी नो पनिशमेंट टू द प्रोपेट्रेटर Um, so that was there for a long time, very long time. This was in 2001. Matani Forum for Women Law and Development (FWLD), who I had mentioned earlier, also works on the citizenship rights issue. FWLD later in 2001, ma, uh, marital rape like criminalized gano ko lagi chaini hamro law chaiyo bani kura chaini Supreme Court ma <clears throat> they took it. Supreme Court said yes, marital rape needs to be criminalized. Um, very positive decision criminalized marital rape under 2001 ko decision ma ayo this pachi 2006 ma chani there was a gender equality act um gender equality act chani ek dui wada kura garyo yo ta chani statutory rape statutory rape pani ko chani a age uh, where chani the victim is considered as a as a as a as a child ani consent dio bhane pani tesle consent bhaner manindaina this kind of like statutory rape bhaner bhanchu mamle teti bela chai 2006 ko jun act so 2006 ko act le chai ni statutory rape age is 16 bhaner bhanyo euta kura um it uh, reinforced 2001 ko jun hamro um, uh, supreme court put a decision aayeko thyo uh, marital rape is criminalized marital rape is criminalized bhanera bhanyo it also included um, <clears throat> two other important things one is uh, it expanded the definition of rape partial penetration was also considered as rape and uh, uh partial penetration was also considered as rape and punishment was as per the age of the victim tetibela so 2006 ko act le chain dui tinta kura gari euta chain statutory age of rape is 16 bhanera bhanyo partial penetration of penal penetration of the vagina is also rape bhanera bhanyo ra punishment as per age of the victim then again 2006 ma chain fwld le feri euta case file gari jasma chain what was what was they wanted clarification is marital rape like any equal पनिशमेंट दि पर्यो एज मच एज नर्म मेरिटल रेप रेक्स वर्कर्स दिखर इट केम सो द सुप्रीम कोर्ट भेरी फेवरेबली गेव द डिशीजन दैट मेरिटल रेप इक्वल पनिशमेंट दिन पर्च रेक्स वर्कर को रेप गए इट इज रेप जस्ट बिकज सरी अ वोमेन इज इन्वल्व इन सेक्स वर्क 
doesn't mean that uh, consent doesn't have to be taken. Sex workers can also be raped when it's an ekdam favorable decision from the Supreme Court. Now, 2015, ma uh, the constitution came 2017, like I mentioned, Amro uh, Naya Criminal Code. Now, what did the new criminal code do? The new criminal code lets any two, three things go. It did criminalize marital rape, but punishment for marital rape only five years uh, to the perpetrator. Uh, it is a ground for divorce for women for marital rape. So marital rape, pani, they have uh, seen it as only as a as something that happens uh, from a man to a woman. And uh, it is a ground for divorce for women, marital rape. Uh, second, rape ko definition, di that's any, uh, unfortunately, ki bonner define goryo. It did expand the definition. Positive ko that's any, uh, one that's any, 2007 criminal code, let's any. It expanded the definition of rape to include not just penal vaginal uh, penetration as rape, but any object. Kunai pani um, object, let's any, uh, vagina penetrate koryo, ya inus lai penetrate koryo, that will be considered rape. Plus oral rape lai pani recognize koryo. That was a positive part of the 2017, um, 2015 and 2017 Kutsunamro Amendment or the IO. Uh, to, sorry, 2015 ko amendment matani oral and non penal penetration let's any acknowledge gori kutu muliki oinla amend gorda. The 2017 let's any yay amendment let's any codify gori because muliki oinla, like I mentioned earlier, it was divided into two parts and the new muliki oinla became a criminal code and that again uh, reinforced 2015 ma proposed gori amendment of oral and non penal penetration. But unfortunately, what the rape law did do is the definition of rape, tiny, any sexual intercourse, whether oral, penal, penal vaginal, penal anus, object to anus, object to vagina, committed by a person against a girl or a woman will be considered as rape. Uh, section 219, if I'm not mistaken. Two section le rape ko definition de, definition to but it has uh, with a sexual intercourse without consent against a woman and a girl. But what it failed to do, it failed to define what is consent. How do you take consent? Is it affirmative consent? Is it uh, you know, um uh, is it uh, resistance? No means no consent. And because of this, if you have been following Osti Bakar Yota. Um, uh, I'm forgetting his name, Siddiqui Baba. I'm not sure. Asti Bakar. Around two weeks ago, there was a Baba who com uh, who committed rape and usko birudha uh, usko uh, case tiny goy ko thio. And that case ma, they they did not prove. They did. They said that he is not guilty because the uh, the victim, the survivor, did not resist and did not cry during the course of the rape and because there is no resistance it cannot be considered as rape on error and this touches upon again uh, the role of the court is to interpret the law is to interpret the constitution when the law itself is quiet about a lot of the things there's very limited role of what the court can do uh this not any amnit your case but it's only keep us on the consent could definition in not the apache what are we considering as consent is it Resistance summer, everything is okay. And is that is that what we are considering? Or is it that you need to take affirmative consent, Panera? So the lack of definition of consent has also created a major loophole for a lot of perpetrators to go free. One example, Asti Kutu Baba, who has been freed from all charges. You know? So your consent ko definition is lacking. Second, gender neutrality kukura. So gender neutrality ko kura hai da, like I mentioned, against girl or women vulnerable ko, so yota section. Ne? This particular section, if you see, there is a section on unnatural unnatural uh, sex vulnerable. So unnatural sex ko provision now it's double edged sword. One, it decriminalizes homosexuality, and second, it does not address rape of men to men. So amro yo unnatural sex vulnerable kura chahiye mal alikati hai da chahiye. So I studied law in India and then I came and studied law again here. And in India ko law ma chayini when uh, India ko law chayini oile jun uh, Indian penal code sa. Tiyo chayini sape uh, uh, so British era time ko uh, laws haru oile sammat sa. And uh, they have just kept amending it. So when the British era ko uh, law came in the Indian penal code, teti bela chayini unnatural sex manera. Not just... Um, <clears throat> Uh, sodomy, sodomy, anal sex, but also bestiality and different different forms of sex. Let's say unnatural sex. Kuma club 
Now, Nepali law has very interestingly taken influence from the Indian law without thinking what is going on. So they have defined bestiality as a different um, crime in the Indian uh, in the Nepali Penal Code. So they have rape ke, uh, uh, sections mein hai bhai bhai. rape ko, rape pachi ta in two three sections on. So bestiality one area of law nature. So uh, any form of sexual intercourse against an animal is considered um, you know a crime one area of Unnatural sex, Matsani, what have they said? Unnatural sex, which we can understand as sodomy, anal sex, and they have not defined it as just anal sex between men and men. But there's this understanding that anal sex is only done between men. So it is not an offense if done with consent. If done without consent, they have given three years. Now, this is what is interesting to see. If done without consent, they have given three years punishment, but they have not uh categorized it as rape and it cannot be read within the uh section of rape because rape ko, rape ko section let's any clearly against women and girls there's another confusion yay section bitra <coughs> unnatural sex <coughs> ko section bitra a lot of uh the pedophilia cases that is being seen in nepal is against young boys Young boys ko situation mat sa yo unnatural sex ko section bitra pin to pehle porno boy bane sa yo three things man so yo ta any unnatural sex ya yeah, sodomy is not criminalized that means homosexuality is not criminalized because there there's a very narrow definition of what homosexuality is on ko sa any gay gay men ko sex, uh, sexuality like any layer yo decriminalized got ko so homosexuality but if there is without consent there will be three years punishment to the perpetrator if if unnatural sex is done to children it will be uh considered within the rape section now rape section ma, if we go back so what are the courts doing they're saying okay this section is saying unnatural sex against children boy but i mean rape ko section ma phirta jana saksam to rape ko section ma phirta jada ta explicitly women and girls ko lagi matra lekhe ko cha so young boys who are survivors and victims of sexual violence and rape like any you cannot read it within the rape section as a result of which you have to read it within the uh, read it within the uh, so your unnatural sex co section and because of which it, it does not get categorized as rape as soon as it does not get categorized as rape they look at they look at it as something which is of a lesser um, uh, crime than any other crime so because of that there is such a huge confusion on the there was a rape law like any amend gonna put your money could i okay no money uh i will come to that your age go age go bar much any rape law like amend gonna put you we need to sort of make this gender neutral we need to include uh young boys as part of this issue but it's um, any the proposal went to the president president took two weeks to sign the proposal out of which she cancelled uh the gender neutrality aspect of the rape law even though it was sort of suggest it was suggested by the ministry of law and justice she did not sign did not sign into it being a gender neutral law and that was a huge drawback kina bhane isle garda chai ni dherai dherai young boys ko case jab court ma jancha the court fails to see it as rape and so many victims are not getting justice as much as they should uh now coming to the age of the punishment age of the punishment kukura chai ni so if you look at the uh, rape law punishment ko chaini asti pani it uh, got amended uh oil it's any under uh, above 70 or under seven years ko uh survivors or the perpetrator will get life imprisonment but other than that there is five years 10 years 15 years so marital rape like five years one year it's but as per your age um as per your age, the 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 level of punishment that is given to uh, the perpetrator decreases, and this is very very unfortunate because when we do a a very important feminist legal analysis like Gorda Saini, it's like when you put the age of the victim as a bar to determine the perpetrator kolagi punishment, you are in a sense saying that the onus to prevent rape is on adult women. As you go, as you go older. And as you uh, uh, grow in age, you have the onus to prevent rape. That's why if you are a 40 year old woman who has uh, who uh, who has uh, who, uh, who has been raped and is a survivor of rape, you had the onus to prevent rape. And because you did not, um, the the uh, the, in the, the 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 punishment of the perpetrator. Dec uh, decreases so it is in fact in it is a sort of understanding in the legal community that 
a person who is 15 versus a person who is 40, a 15 year old may not be able to protect themselves from rape, uh, protect themselves from rape, but a 40 year old in a sense should be protecting herself from rape and a result of which because she did not and the onus is on the woman. Um, I understand God that that's why the, uh, the perpetrator punishment also decreases. And in any in most countries, whenever there, a crime is committed and whenever a punishment is there, there is a general bracket of age that is given, that a general bracket of years that is given to uh, send the perpetrator to jail. This must any mitigating factors or um, factors which increase the rape, for example, if the if the uh, rape uh, if the rape co uh, crimes any ekdami gruesome tabani if the person dies the thing increases. But when you put the age of the victim as a as a bar to determine the uh, years of punishment for the perpetrator, it is in a sense saying that the obligation to prevent rape uh, grows as you become older because the onus to prevent rape is on you. So Amro Chaini about rape kukurama here, that's any three important things, um, four important things. You have any statute of limitation kukura, we already did. Statute of limitation, unfortunately, has a very, very political angle, as I mentioned earlier, because it is not just current rape situation, current rape crimes that need to be addressed if the statute of limitation is removed, but even uh, rape crimes that a lot of people in power have perpetrated in the past. Arko Chaini, lack of definition of consent. Consent could definition no isaki pochitani. So many cases where how have women given consent? Is resistance consent when it could answer and leading to a lot of acquittals of the perpetrators? Arko is gender neutrality disproportionately impacting a lot of young boys, especially. Definitely, male to male rape are not categorized as rape because it does not come under the definition of rape. Uh, pedophilia cases are all time high and not being addressed by the, uh, by the law. And the other one being the age of the victim, which sort of puts the onus on women to prevent rape as they go older. Uh, so rape ko loopholes are here that one. any, these are more or less it. Um, any questions? So um, you don't have to, I feel like I'm a little bit confused on the question I'm asking because I don't know if it's a philosophical one or just the theory one, but I know there was a news where the um, perpetrator was an 11 year old boy and I think he had raped someone and he had, he stated, the news stated that he was just doing whatever he saw adults do. So in that situation, uh, is there a law, anything like that? Um, so yes, there are laws for juvenile perpetrators in Nepal. Under the age of 10, if any crime is committed, it is not considered a crime as per law under the age of 10. Uh, beyond the age of 10 to 18, uh, there, there is a juvenile law that is used and it uh, I'm not aware, I, I'm sorry, I haven't, I will research on this and uh, let you know more about it. Uh, but I am sure of the fact that below 10 years of age can commit no crime on yours. Any uh, clearly name mentioned God, it's a law. 10 to 17, uh, which is the juvenile age, like any juvenile protection. Um, you know, there are, there are supposed to be in each province, there is supposed to be juvenile detention homes as per the law. But with regard to uh, uh, serious offenses by juveniles, I will get back to you on that. I'm not aware of the law right now. I will also look for the news. It's been a while since I saw it and I just saw it in passing. So I don't have that on me, but I'll definitely look for it too. Thank you so much. Um, I have a question too. So to the age of the victims versus perpetrator, is it common all around the world or in Nepal Mamatri? It is not common all around the world. Um, I'm, uh, I don't know if there are countries which do have it. I will look into that. But uh, the countries that I do that I know which do not have it is, for example, major uh, countries with deep jurisprudential jurisprudential uh, uh, um, understandings like law, um, you know, uh, courts or the decision, for example, UK, USA, India, none of them have any of this. A lot of where our laws are usually influenced by, especially India and the British system, uh, none of them have this. Um, yes, uh, so if you guys have any question, just uh, feel free to ask. I mean, this session was intended for one hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, but just like we, we are kind of flexible with time right now, just for 15 minutes, I would say. 
So, I mean, thank you so much, Jessalina. It was such a wonderful presentation, right? Thank you for the insights on uh, citizenship laws, intimate partner violence, and rape laws. Uh, so just feel free to ask any question, guys. Um, but we do have some questions from um, Google Form. Actually, uh, I'll just talk about intimate partner violence. Take them briefly for like five minutes. Uh, 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 sad to say there is no law on intimate partner violence in Nepal. For example, if you are in an intimate relationship and there is sexual violence, emotional violence, physical violence, it is not recognized by the law. The only type of physical, sexual, emotional violence which is recognized under the domestic violence law is between people who are married or living in the same household. And that does not include uh, intimate partner relationships. Unfortunately, even the researches that have been conducted in Nepal with regard to intimate partner violence focuses on married couples. It does not focus on young people in relationships, young people in live-in relationships. Live-in relationships are not recognized by the law. So today, if you are sexually abused, if someone sexually abuses someone, if someone, um, you know, uh, mentally abuses someone, emotionally abuses someone, physically abuses someone within the, um, per, within the uh, intimate partner setting, it will not come under domestic violence, it will have to move as a normal uh, law, a normal case under the criminal code. And emotional and emotional violence, for example, is not recognized by the law unless it is uh, domestic violence, physical violence, is not recognized like domestic violence for intimate partners. Um, so just to say that, um, unfortunately, I don't see a lot of any organization working on intimate partner violence and young people are getting left out of this conversation of violence. Um, yes, yeah, so, um, so we have some questions from the Google form. Right? Um, I'd like to highlight like those who are present right now. So Akriti, uh, she wanted to know, like it's a general question. Uh, Nepal is a democ democratic country and citizens choose their leaders, but when they make or propose the unequal laws, why are we not able to overthrow those leaders? Um, so as, uh, uh, as, you have stated rightly in the question also democratic process for but it's any overthrow governing could as any election but uh, you can't get up one day and say you know, i want to overthrow this government or another because the only time you have to sort of overthrow them or to elect a new one is during elections yeah uh, number one uh, i think we were discussing this earlier also is that a lot of times we think that just because we have, elect, like, suppose we elected someone and uh, we voted and the person we voted for came into power, you know, we are, uh, a lot of the times we are under the impression, not me, Manali, like everyone is under the impression that just because your um, political party that you are, you subscribe to or you, uh, you know, uh, follow or you su support, just because they are in power, they can do no wrong. And there's, I think, our loyalty needs to move towards the letter of the law, our loyalty needs to move towards a democratic nation and uh, uh, an egalitarian nation rather than a political party. Because political party, the subscribe to political party, the law that they pass or the proposals that they make doesn't mean you have to agree with it. But I think that's where a lot of people in Nepal, especially young people, politics, it's important to be critical even of the parties that you support, even of the ideologies that you support, um, because by the end of the day, social contract theory, so we give up some right for people to be in power to, uh, uh, to you know, make laws for us and to govern us, doesn't mean that all laws that they pass will positively impact us. So we need to be critical of all, uh, of all uh, you know, governments, irrespective of what and who they stand for, because um, the implication of laws sometimes is overlooked, disproportionate impact is overlooked by a lot of governments. Um, I would suggest please vote if you are in Nepal and you are a Nepali citizen, please make use of your uh, voting right. Um, yeah, so uh, we have another question. I think like we have discussed about this before the session, right? Eh? Uh, but um, so yeah, the question is from Vijay. 
कुनै पनि सरकारी वा गैर सरकारी संस्था वा संगठनमा लैंगिक समावेशीकरणका बारे नेपालमा के कस्ता कानुनी व्यवस्था छन् सो आई ट्रान्सलेटेड दिस इन इंग्लिस um so that you know it will be clear for everyone so what are the legal provisions in nepal regarding gender inclusion in any governmental or non governmental organization thank you so much so um government organization but a suru garem bhanne chai ni hamle um legislature or executive ma chai ni langik samaveshi karan ko pratar haru chha and this came from the beginning hamro constituent assembly bata nai aayo constituent assembly bhaneko cha ni the the group of people who will make the constitution teti bela nai constituent assembly ma 33% reservations ani women lai dinu paryo bhanera aayo and that trickled down to uh, the legislature as well as the uh, executive for example executive ma i don't know if uh, there is, you, you all have information about this if our president is male the vice president has to be female if the mayor is male the vice president has to be female now there's a lot of positive and negative things that we are seeing from this yota chani starting with the legislature 33% representation ko pare maina whether in the state level province level or local level ma chai 33% representation sai yo definitely okay 33% representation paro a lot of times these are not getting fulfilled 33% is not getting fulfilled so amle chani we need to take a not just a top down approach but a down top approach also top but hamro 33 representation ayo tara hamle tala but hamle capacity gareko chainam bhanne maila har lai to sort of you know um be part of that scenario how are we going to uh, fulfill this 33% representation your that and capacity building ko kura ayo arko chaini um, burden of care what we're also seeing at the local level and at um, even the state level and prov- uh, and the uh, central level is that there are so many women who want to be part of the legislative processes but ghar ko kaam pani huncha bahir ko kaam pani huncha how are you supposed to handle both when there are so many obligations bhanne kura pani dekhi raheko cha so capacity and distribution of burden of care le garda chai ni a lot of women who even want to be part of political um uh, you know political systems and governance structures are not being able to yota thyo bhayo 33% ko ar ko interestingly what we're also seeing is that यो फर एक्जापल मेयर एट एकजा मेल हो रे फिमेल फिमेल डेप्युटी मेयर लियां पर्यटन है अब एज पर ल फिमेल डेप्युटी मेयर से फिमेल डेप्युटी मेयर फर एक्जापल हेज नेवर बीन इन पोलिटिक्स बट हजबेंड हेज बीन इन पोलिटिक्स फर अ लंग टाइम वी आर सी सो मच अफ द हजबेंड्स पोलिटिकल आइडियोलॉजी इज बी फर्स्ट थ्रू द वाइफ you know and that is where i talk about capacity building बिकज एंड दिस इज नॉट जस्ट इन रूरल एरिया दिस इज हेपनिंग इन अर्बन एरियाज ऑल्सो सो वी नीड टू make sure that is not just a top down approach because only top down bhayiro ko so 33% representation and reservation for women in executive bodies ayo but if you're not building capacity if you're not ensuring that women have uh, you know shared burden uh, of household work and a uh, burden of family care at that point of time we're still seeing a lot of patriarchal values being pushed through the women and uh, not being uh, and the women not being given space to shine irrespective of that 33% reservation being there so government bodies ma chai ni hamro langik samaveshi karan ko lagi yo cha tyo bhanda bhandai we also hamro constitution ma pani ke lekheko cha bhane langik alpasankhyak ya gender minorities har ko lagi pani there can be laws created to ensure equal participation bhanera so the uh, the <clears throat> the constitution has also given right to the government to make laws to include um um uh, individuals from gender minority com- communities to be part of the government structure there are gender minorities it, just women like matri banaye ko chhe reservations in mali women ra caste based reservation matra chha um trans people or ko like non binary people or ko like chha ni also ma aayeko chaina uh ngos har ma hear that chha ni for example a lot of nordic ngos and companies ma chha ni if you look at a lot of nordic countries nordic countries ko chha ni kune kune desh har ma chha ni कर्पोरेट हाउसेज में कतिजान बोर्ड मेम्बर्स में ये जान हो अनफर्चुनेटली तस्त प्रावधान नेपाल में छेन तर हम को सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट एंड वर्क प्लेस एक्ट विच इज एप्लिकेबल टू अल एनजीओस एंड टेकिंग सेक्सुअल फेवर्स इज अल्सो सीन एस सेक्सुअल एक्सप्लोइटेशन बाई द न्यू एक्ट सो थिंग्स लाइक दिस आगे वर्क प्लेस हरासमेंट को um yes so um any questions anyone 
um i have a question so um so your presentation ma ji you pretty much covered the problematic aspects of nepali law you know so if we talk, if we think about a solution if you think about um how do we go about changing these acts which is a big process because it requires change in different levels change in constitution and everything so sabai kura to consider garda hai so what do you think can be a starting point to bring about changes in these laws that are not uh, that don't like that are quite biased you know you you know like change garna chahiye from a like uh, from a normal citizens perspective like um janta ko pressure huncha ki ki the petition haru huncha ki ki the uh like right person that elect garne ho ki like what can be a starting point to change this these uh, problematic laws thank you pragya i think uh, very recently um uh if you are all aware thunga humfe is the new minister uh, of law and justice she was supposed to be the speaker of the house but a lot of conflict on that and uh, she is now the uh, ministry of law ma'am and i feel that a lot of the times when law uh, ministries are making these laws consultation with um, civil society organizations consultation with uh, you know the public is not there even though law likhe bhancha bhane kunai pani law aunu pare bhane chai ni hamro gazette ma chai ni notify garnu parcha paila gazette ma notify garisake pachi so that the public can sort of you know that is a democratic process that the public is first notified of the proposal they can discuss they can put their issues ahead civil society organizations can put their issues ahead and it is pachi the ministries then move ahead with the proposal in the parliament of what law should be there what amendment should be there you know uh, very recently i was also part of the process to amend the um, acid attack law and it was such an enthralling process because ministry of law of justice they reached out to a couple of uh, uh, civil organizations civil society organizations one of whom i am working with they gave us time for one week to present to them what we think is important to address in the law what we think is needs to be amended in the um, uh, acid attack law and you know a lot of people said that this is a very fast move done by the ruling party to make sure that you know uh, an issue that was really rising like any address kind of like any amend kario bhane you know political motives a lot of things that were in discussion but what i really appreciated appreciated about this was that both asti ko rape law amend hunda ra acid attack ko law amend hunda the law ministry actually reached out to civil society organizations and ngos that were working on this issue and took recommendations them accepting the recommendations is another thing all recommendations is another thing but i think the first step to actually take the recommendations and for the organizations to also give recommendations based on the discussions they've had with uh, you know panel discussions with um, uh, a lot of individuals i think that was really important because the organization uh, i was working with i'm not naming the organization because it it will look like i'm representing that organization and that's the whole process of um uh, consent that i need to take from them so i'm the organization that i work with we actually had been working on acid attack for a long time we did a panel discussion with the survivors with activists so we were able to get until the recommendation process some tiny perspectives from different people and create our own perspective uh, create perspectives and recommendations as per all that we've learned in the past year and i really appreciated the law ministry actually reaching out to civil society organizations and taking this to recommendations or you law law banaun law samshodhan karne process ma tiny so i think कुछ ल बना हमें एट प्रक्रिया फलो कर जहाँ चाहिए सीविल सोसाइटी द पब्लिक इज इन्वल्व टू क्रिटिक इट टू रेकमेंड इट अस पच्चीस अब वहाँ डिसाइड कर वहाँ में फर पर्च तर इन्क्लूडिंग सर्वाइवर्स इन्क्लूडिंग पीपल हू आर वर्किंग ऑन दिस इश्यू इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फर द ल टू बी मोर इन्क्लूसिव इज वॉट आई वुड सजेस्ट um okay so we are almost at the end of the session um and um you know we we've got some questions from the google form but um so i feel like you know most of the questions have been covered from uh, jaslina's presentation uh but if still like if you guys have any question last call guys um just uh, feel free to ask 
I do have one question. Um, I'm also based in the US. So for me, um, I might, I'm just trying to find something similar, I guess. Um, in the, for like domestic violence, US Mata, you can definitely do like a restraining order with someone and they cannot stay, like come in certain um, area around you. Is there anything similar to that in Nepal? Restraining orders are a farce in Nepal and India. They, they, there's absolutely no on, like, um, way to implement it. Uh, I don't even think there is a law because I have not come across a law regarding restraining order. Uh, similar to restraining orders, any kids of one, for example, domestic violence, when um, when individuals, uh, for example, divorce ko case mats, any domestic violence ko result case, and you are going to go uh, ask for a divorce. And when the court um, you know, then the court does sort of uh, discuss divorce, the court can go two ways. If it's a case of domestic violence, they can say that you can live separately. Uh, please don't uh, meet each other. Please live separately. And after a period of six months, we will grant you your divorce. But there's also another provision that allows, for example, um, uh, let's say they are going on the basis of Hamle, um, Amro, Chani, we, we just want to get a divorce, like we're not happy. The court can also say, why don't you try for six months to make sure your marriage works and then we will decide if you should get a divorce or not. So it's your provision. Oh, wow. so, so it really depends on how the court um, sort of implement uh, interprets the law, but uh, re restraining order. So what are the, if somebody, uh, somebody is going through like a domestic violence thing, like what's the best case scenario in Nepal, like in legal person, like from legal point of view? The best case scenario is that um, the perpetrator is sent to jail or is given a, a sort of a warning. But because of the fact that the perpetrator who is maybe your husband, your father can be sent to jail, um, the cases are not being registered also. For example, uh, another like, we can also look at Tsopadi as a form of domestic violence. And Tsopadi Lepani, I think this is something I didn't touch upon, but very interesting. Tsopadi Lepani, 2017, K.A. Criminal Court Lepani, criminalized name, got you. Three months jail and 1,000 rupees fine. Now, when we are going to the uh, grassroots level and asking people, okay, do you know Tsopadi is illegal? They say, yes, we know it's illegal. And they say, so then if, someone is forcing you into Taupadi, why don't you file a case? And they say, how am I supposed to file a case against my mother and father? So what, what is the point of criminalizing a law which does not perpet per, does not perpet does not uh, you know go into the solution of what is going to happen because no one's going to file a case against their mother and father you know like how how is a child supposed to go file a case against their mother and father uh, for committing tsopadi against them so what is the point of criminalizing it if there has been no uh, you know implementation of it wow thank you yeah i think smriti has her hand raised yeah. Go ahead. So I have a question. I think like over the time we see the law becoming more unlawful or unclear in like in the present scenario. So given the situation, can we ever look up to that unlawful law to save us and to provide us justice that we should not have even asked for in the first place? So like, can we ever trust that law that is unlawful in itself? Oh, so I think that's a very difficult question. And for me also, as someone from the law background, as much as faith I would like to have in the law and in the system, we see that people in power are getting away with everything. Everything, you know, in Nepal, uh, people with power, people with connections, people with money. I would like to believe that we want to live in a state where, you know, there is a rule of law but unfortunately it is not there, but I don't see any other recourse in a democratic nation other than relying on the law for justice is also another aspect. Um, yes, uh, last call guys, any questions? Um, but, um, you know, just feel free to reach out to Jessalina uh, or her page or her account, uh, Nepali Feminist. And uh, you can also reach out to us if you have any questions uh, post-session. 
and uh, since this session is recorded uh, you know tapai ko koi sathi haru interested huncha ra as a present huna saknu bhayena pani you know we can spread the word and um, the video will be uploaded to our social medias um so uh, just last call if you guys have any question because this session has been really actually yeah. so i think bj has raised his hand so bj you can un- unmute yourself and ask oh yeah हजर नमस्ते सब जाना सुरू भाई एकदम मैं जी सुन्न पाए एकदम इन्फर्मेटिव सेशन भी रहो अ मैं के सो मन थे भादा खी जैसे जो हम लीगल प्रोसेस फ्लड तर कतचोटी के होता लीगल प्रोसेस में फर इजापल एवं वुमन से सेक्सुअली हरस भाई उस जो लीगल प्रोसेस में लान चाहिए तो लीगल प्रोसेस में आने लाई एकदम एकदम गाड़ो भी पर्ने रहे कि बिकज अफ सो मेनी मिसकसेप्सन्स एंड लीगल प्रोसेस एकदम तो झंझट काम हो एंड अल दैट कर मैं कि सोन खोजे भादा काठमंड में बेस्ट भाग तब ठाला कुछ एट यो अर्गनाइजेशन जल्ले यदि एट वुमेन सेक्सुअली हरस भाषा उसके लीगल प्रोसेस में लियाने पुलिस में गए रिपोर्ट कराने देखि का अदालत का कुरा देखि सब हेदिन को हेल्प करने एंड मोर सो प्रो बोनो करने अथवा फ्री 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 सर्विस डिलिवर करने तस्त कु अर्गनाइजेशन के बारे में हजार ठाकुर भाई भाई कि हजर सो यू कैन लुक इन टू लैक नेपाल एल ए सी लीगल एड एंड काउंसलिंग आई थिंक आई एम नट सर अफ देर फुल फॉर्म बट लैक नेपाल लैक नेपाल प्रो बोनो केसेस हे एफडब्ल्यू एलडी केसेस हे सो दुवे चाहिए दुवे संस्था चाहिए महिलाक अधिकार स्पेशली यो लीगल सीस्टम भि को काम करद रैक नेपाल रफडब्ल्यू एलडी में तपर्क कर ओके थैंक यू ऑल राइट इज सो बिफोर एंडिंग अप आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट एवरीवन टू टर्न ऑन देयर वीडियो अगेन नो प्रेशर बट इफ इट्स पॉसिबल यू नो लाइक वी जस्ट वांटेड टू टेक द फोटो फॉर आवर सोशल मीडिया सो प्रज्ञा कैन यू कैन यू डू दैट Okay, so I'm about to take it. Okay. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Jessalina. It was such in like. न्यूज आई थिंक एवरीथिंग वाज रियली सर्फेसिंग है सब तो अलिअल कता कता सोशल मीडिया बड़ा सुने को कुछ तर तिमी बड़े सब कुछ एकदम इन्साइट्स आऊँगा लाइक इट वाज रियली इन्फर्मेटिव थैंक यू सो मच सो पीपल लाइक यू नो इफ यू वांट टू रीच आउट टू हर जस्ट फॉलो हर अकाउंट नेपाली फेमिस्ट फॉलो नेपाली वुमेन इन कंप्यूटिंग एज वेल इफ यू हेव नट डन दैट अो या थैंक यू सो मच Um, special thanks to uh, Jessalina. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to me so patiently. I know it extended beyond. I'm letting your time rack it up and up. But it extended by you. That the requirements. I mean, I think address got no need for it. So I really hope it was informative. Or is it about any of the topics I'm going to cover? Got it? Got some. Do you have about any topic? Like reading, say about it. But please just reach out to me. I'm more than happy to share the readings. If not to me, then you can just reach out to Nepali Women in Computing. We I can share it through them also. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Thank you.